Good morning. It is Wednesday. It's 9 a.m. And usually Wednesday would be my day off, but yesterday I woke up <laughs> with a migraine. So I get these migraines where I usually lose the left side of my vision, like in both eyes, and then my head hurts and I throw up and I'm just dead for the rest of the day. Like nothing takes the pain away. I have to sleep. I'm nauseous, whatever. So I woke up with that. Like I missed the whole like losing my vision, like a warning and just woke up with migraine. And so then I was just out the rest of the day. So I had to cancel or move all my clients. So today I'm doing two of them that I didn't get to do yesterday. Um, which I'm glad they could just move to the next day. Even though I don't work this day technically, I needed to get them in because I have no other space to put them until like July. And they neither have done before then. So, um, actually I have time. I'm not in until 12.30, so I'm going to actually get ready for today. And it's supposed to be like 75. It's not supposed to be sunny. It's like rainy, cloudy. Um, but it is supposed to be warmer, so that's nice. Yesterday was incredible. It was like 85, super sunny, and I was stuck in bed all day, so that sucked. But I'm just ready for spring weather because I want to wear, like, the cute clothes I got. Like, this shirt from my last haul. Like, I want to wear these clothes, and I'm tired of having to put jackets and layers on, you know what I mean? Anyway... So I'm going to do my makeup. I washed my hair, blow dried it. I think I'm either going to wave it or curl it. I haven't decided yet. Um, I self tanned with the Saint Tropez tan, um, which we'll see. Last time I did it, I've only used it twice. Um, I, I had it a long time ago and I thought it was better, but this last time I used it, it was so splotchy the next morning that I had to put another layer right on top of it. And I don't like to rinse my tan off, like I like to keep it on because I'm not that tan and it doesn't ever really get that dark. And I had to put another layer on top, which was fine. I looked really nice and tan and it covered all the splotchy, but I was uh, kind of annoyed that it was super splotchy. And when you're rubbing it in, you can kind of see, and I don't know if it's a tanning mousse or if it's the mitt that I use. Um, I use the Saint Tropez mousse, I mean mitt. So maybe I've heard that you need to get gloves, so maybe I might bring some home from the salon and try to use gloves next time. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. But I did get a bunch of new makeup yesterday after I recovered. I was like, at 7 p.m., I was like, I've been in, I've been in that bed right there all day long. Like, I cannot. And if you know the Enneagram at all, I'm a 7. And so I was just like, I have to get out of the house just for a little bit. So I was finally feeling a little bit better. I got to eat something my headache went away so I went to Target to just like slowly walk down the aisles because that's what I do um, and I happened to pick up a bunch of stuff mostly makeup stuff so yeah I'm excited to actually do my makeup and um, I did get two things from Amazon too that I'll show you I got a new butter bronzer because mine is out for the count from Physicians Formula I love this stuff looks like this. My, my old packaging looks like this, so I'm not sure if this is just old. It smells so good. I love this stuff. Do I still have that brush in here? No. Um, but this is my favorite bronzer. I've also been loving this um, Butter Highlight by Physicians Formula. This is in Champagne and it is like the most beautiful color ever. Let's see if I focus. Like, look how pretty that is. Bronzy, gold, which I'm all about. So, let's see. What do I want to do? I don't really want to put any, like, foundation or concealer on because I'm going to be wearing a mask all day. Focus on me. There we go. I'm going to be wearing a mask, and I just put self-tanner on, so I don't want to have to wash that off. So, I'm not going to do that. I already powdered my face, too, because I hate the feeling of fake tan as it's like drying it's just the worst so I'm actually going to take this physician formula bronzer just kind of warm up my face once my tan like comes off of my face but still my body I use this all over my face as like a powder to help match the rest of my body 
you know how it goes. It's not showing up too much right now, but it is just making my skin a little bit more even. I do put self-tanner on my face. Some people don't, but they usually wear foundation oh, like more often than I do, and so their foundation will match their self-tan, but I never wear foundation unless I'm going out somewhere. So it's just easier for me to have stuff on my face. Um, all right, what do I want to do? Let me do some blush. I'm obsessed with Rare Beauty. Um, this one is in love. I'm obsessed with Selena Gomez, so obviously when she created a makeup line, I like instantly bought stuff. Because I love her. Also, she just went blonde, and now I'm, I am like itching to go blonde. Her and Billie Eilish, who I both, I love them both. They look so good. I like this blonde on Selena better than the blonde a couple of years ago. Blonde a couple of years ago looked like it kind of fried her hair. But I'm just a critic because I do hair for a living. And then Billy's looks really great. I can't believe they actually got it that light and it still looks like healthy. Because she had that green and black sitch going on. But I saw her, um, she would wear a wig while they were doing the process because it took so long to get everything out and they had to do it slowly so that the hair wouldn't fall off. So she would wear a green and black wig over her, like, white roots and orange ends from bleaching. I'm like, that is some snaky stuff. But she had us convinced. So good for her. Um, for highlight, I'm going to go in with... Whoop, that butter highlight that I just showed you. This is like my typical routine for my face. I don't do too much. And I love like bronzy and glowy. Who doesn't though, right? Okay. Whoopsies. All right, I haven't decided if I'm going to be bold with my makeup today or if I'm going to stick to chill. Let me try to find a picture of what I'm talking about. See how pretty that is? I like that, and then I also like a little bit simpler. Would be this. I think that's really cute. I might do that just to like get used to it. See that green there? So cool. But I have pink and white. That's what I got. That's kind of why I'm wearing this shirt. Because I'm like, do I do this? Do I do a fun makeup look? Because why the hell not? I'm, like actually getting ready? I think I'm going to. And I think I'm going to use pink. Because... I've been into the color pink lately. Okay, I'm gonna try to show you my liner. Super fun, like the freckles. Feeling very Gen Z right now. With the whole fit. I hauled this in my last video. These are just old pants from Target. They're kind of like wide leg, but they're also cropped. I got slippers on. Um, I'm not sure how I like this hairstyle. I don't know. I'm not loving my hair recently, and I think it's because I need a haircut. This isn't gonna stay. So maybe that's it, but I just feel like it's a square. Maybe I need to put it up. Even that I don't like. And I don't know if it's also because I'm growing my bangs out. And I don't like the no bang thing. This baby hair. I can't figure it out. Okay, I changed my hair up. I just did like 
bubble braids, whatever. I couldn't handle it. I'm having a little snack. I wanted to show you because these are like TikTok trends. So we have like bell pepper with um, cream cheese and everything but the bagel. This is a dill pickle wrapped in a fruit roll up that I just sliced. And then this one's technically not one, but I think it should be because it's my favorite snack. Cottage cheese with Doritos, mac and cheese Doritos. So good. Um, if you haven't tried the pickle one, you definitely should. Some people put tahini on top of it, which is good, but for some reason the acid from the pickle and the tahini mixed together kind of hurts my throat. So I don't usually use tahini. Um, but I do like the dill pickle with the fruit roll-up. I'm a huge fruit roll-up fan. And then Jeff and I, well, I tried these last night. Jeff wants to try them, and they're super, super good. So I'm just snacking on that. We've got a couple more, like an hour before I need to go to the salon. Um, so I'm just going to do some computer work, kind of get my schedule together because we are, I have to move three days around because we're going on a little Mother's Day trip. So, I have to make sure my schedule's all in check. And my assistant usually does that, but there's a lot of people that we have to move and we really don't have any place to put them. So I have to squeeze them in places. So it's kind of easier if I help her do that because I know I'm like, oh, I'll work then, or yeah, we can work here, you know, things like that. So that's what we're gonna do and maybe watch some YouTube. Gang's back together, Haley's helping me. to go to work I just have this black crop top that I showed in my last vlog or like haul um, biker shorts these are vans and then this where's this from is this from vans too no this is from ASOS ASOS just like this shacket if you will but it's this pretty like teal muted teal color just putting that over. It's only 63 degrees today and rainy, so it's not that warm, but I have tan legs that I wanted to show off, so I'm wearing biker shorts. I didn't feel like vlogging last night. There wasn't really much to vlog. We went to a restaurant called Brew Burger, and they have um, 
Impossible Burgers there. And they have this one that is so good. It has like this like fancy maple chipotle sauce and it's delicious. So I got that. And then we went to at home, but they didn't really have anything good this time, which is surprising. They usually have a ton of stuff out, but I think they were like in between like switching season stuff. So we'll have to check back in like a couple weeks. So they have all their summer stuff out because that'd be great. I really, I was just looking to see if they might have this, but I really want a fountain out in our front yard. Um, we have this area that is all like mulched and for plants like next to our like walk up. And I really want to clear that all out because it's really cluttered. We tried for the past two years to like maintain it and like get all the weeds out, all that stuff, but it just still looks too cluttered to me. And I really want a fountain like in the middle of that area with some really pretty like intentional greenery that I like, maybe some vines that'll grow around it, things like that. So that's probably gonna be my summer, well, early summer project is finding a cool fountain and then pulling up all of those plants and planting new ones. So we'll see, hopefully that lasts. Last year we like completely cleared out all of our little beds all over the backyard and the front yard took out all the weeds, everything, planted new flowers, and then like two weeks later, the weeds were everywhere again, and it looked like we didn't do anything. So that was a big bummer. Um, so we're probably gonna do it again. Hopefully some of the annual plants that we planted, or the perennial plants, um, I forget which one it is. Anyways, the plants that come up most every year. Hopefully they'll come back up um, and we don't have to redo absolutely everything, but let me let these hooligans in. Hello, welcome. You got wet paws. Um, but yeah, that's that. Clarence hates getting his paws dried off, so he hides under Jeff's desk. What? I'm not going to do it. I'm not gonna do it. There you go. <laughs> I don't really know why. He doesn't like anybody or anything touching his paws. All right, I need to go stop by Starbucks before I go to work because Jeff's been going back into the office to work. And I don't like it. it. Messes up our whole routine. But he doesn't make coffee in the morning anymore. So I gotta go get my own. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks and then I'll take you to the salon day today. It's gonna be kind of a weird vlog because it's like two days, but whatever. You guys like salon stuff, so I'll show you what you want. Got my cafe. I ordered a grande iced coffee with classic and sweet cream cold foam. This stuff is really good. All I tasted was the cold foam. I need to mix it up. I don't understand how people, sorry if it's all wiggly. I'm driving. I don't understand how people like on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, try a new coffee with cold foam on it that's this thick and take a sip and they're like, it's so good. All you taste in your first sip if you don't drink it, I mean mix it up, is cold foam. So yeah, it's good, it's freaking foam. That's just my little thought of the morning with coffee like that. But I'm on my way and I'm, while I was in the Starbucks parking lot, I purchased Hair by Marissa Sue's assistant course, which I cannot wait to watch. It's all about how to have an assistant and how to like double, triple, whatever your income using an assistant, which I need help on because I've had two assistants but I've literally not known what I've been doing. Like I've just like made it up as I go, which I turned out great. But um, I want to know more, especially I want to open my own salon. So especially since I want to do that, I want to have assistance. I need to know what I'm doing. And she's like 
goals with assistance in salon loft life like I love her if you don't know who she is look her up on Instagram it's at hair by Marissa Sue she's like one of my favorites so I purchased that course cannot wait to watch it um, and it just shows how important online education is and furthering your education not to uh, promote my own stuff but promoting my own stuff <laughs> Online courses are amazing. I'm like driving through a river. Um, and I think they are good investments. So my link will be down below for my online courses. And I will link her Instagram down below too. Just for you to check out her stuff. Because she has online courses as well. And I've taken two of her color courses. And then I'm about to take this um, assistant one. So I cannot wait to do that I might do that tomorrow so I'll update you in my next vlog on how it went but I'm I have very high hopes about it because I really like her mm -hmm.